Hi students, so welcome back. Coming to the next topic that was CSS animation. So far we had seen uh, the different cascading style sheet uh, properties and how we are going, uh, how those properties are affecting on the elements. Now let's see the animation. So the CSS animation allows animation to most HTML elements without using the JavaScript or Flash. So, so far uh, without CSS, uh, you can apply the animation also, but with the help of JavaScript language or you can use the Flash to get the animation. But CSS animation uh, is also one of the example for creating the animation to the HTML elements, but without using the JavaScript or Flash. So, what exactly the animation was? Animation is a process. Animation is process of making shape. Making shape changes and creating and creating motions with element that you call it as an animation animation means it's nothing but whatever the object and whatever the element you are taking that element changes uh, its position from one place to another place in whatever the direction even you can change the color you can change the position you can change convert into 2d 3d like that so that complete uh, process you call it as an animation so to use CSS animation, you must first specify one keyword. Let's see what is that keyword. To use the animation in the CSS styles, you have to use one keyword. To use animation, you must first specify some keyframes. Some keyframe for the animation so whatever the animation you want to be created on a particular element for that element you have to specify a keyframe so what is this keyframe a keyframe is nothing but it holds holds what style the element will have the element will have at certain time that information will store in the keyframes so a keyframe is nothing but it is an attribute or you are using that attribute so that uh, holds the information like what type of style your element needs okay whatever the object and whatever the element that what type of style you will need and that style will have to be stay up to what time okay and it has to be stay in it's a certain style has to be stay at what time so that you call it as a uh, so that type of information will be stored in the keyframes so now let's see the rules of this keyframes at the rate keyframes rule So what are the different rules for this keyframes? Let's see. When you specify the CSS uh, styles inside the keyframes, the animations change the current style to the new style. Okay. Whenever you are specifying the CSS style inside keyframe. So you are having a keyframe structure. Inside the keyframe structure, you are just mentioning the CSS cascading style sheets. So whenever you are specifying that cascading style sheets inside the keyframe, the rules is going to be changed like the current style is going to be created with a new style. Okay, you will get the new style. Let's see one example, then you will understand what exactly these keyframes will hold. Here I am taking one example like, let's change the background color of any particular element. Let me write that question. Let's change the background color. Background color of, I am taking one element as a div element. So whatever the information that uh, styles that are present in the div element, uh, so that div element background has to be changed and it has to be animated. When the animation 
is 25% complete, 50% complete and again when animation is 100% complete. So this is a program. So what is this complete from 25, 50, 100 like that? So here uh, that object, whatever the div element is there, that div, div element has to change its animation like the animation starts from 0% to ends with the uh, 100%. Starts from 0%, from to 2, up to 100%. How many colors if you want to be changed, you can change that background color. Div element can be changed to different colors from starting from 0% to 100%. Let's see that. So here I am writing an uh, element to apply the animation to. So what type of animation you want to be provided uh, for that element. Okay. So I'm first I am writing the element. After that I will write the animation colors. Okay. So element to apply the animation. So what element you want to be do animation div. Let's take the element width is uh, 100 pixels. So whenever you take the height and width of uh, element is 100 pixel, you will get the square. And the background color default I am giving that element background color should be uh, red color. And here I am writing the animation name. Up to now I didn't create a, a name for the animation. So that you have to be writing the keyframes. Animation name I am giving like. A, let's take the animation name is example. Okay. And the duration I am giving. Means how much time the animation has to be in uh, active. The du uh, duration is I am just giving, uh, let's take uh, 14 seconds. Okay. So, here I am just writing uh, a keyframes also. That is the animation code. Let me write the animation code. Okay. I am writing the animation code here. Uh, let first just 0 at the rate of keyframes here you need to give the animation name so whatever the animation name that i have given that is example so whenever these names should be same then only uh, these keyframes will be called in the div uh, element let's take the 0% 0% background color was i am taking it as red color means the animation uh, changes from star from 0% to 100%. So first it changes to red color. Next it changes to yellow color. So here you need to write background color. Now I am not writing. At the 50% the color will change to blue. And at finally the 100% the color will change to green. Okay close the keyframes. So this is an animation code and this animation code will be called in the div uh, element. So this is a div name example and the animation duration is 15 seconds. So this complete information you have to write in the style tag. The animation duration defines how long the time an animation should take to complete if it is, uh, if it is suppose if you didn't specify the time, uh, no animation will occur. If there is no animation duration, then no animated will be occur. So whatever the program now I have written, so that the first the animation will be, the default color is the red color. So 100 pixels height, 100 pixels uh, width. Okay, so first it changes to the red color. Next the background color should be changes to yellow color. I had given it as a yellow color. So completely next it changes to the yellow color. So after that, it it changes the color to the blue. A background color should be, means the complete inside color blue. And finally, the color will be changes to the green. Okay. After the 
after 4 sec 14 second is over again the color will come becomes the normal color red color like that the color will be changed that is our in the duration of 14 seconds okay so at 0 percent it should is it is in red color okay at 25 percent it is in uh, yellow color next 50 percent it should be in blue color and it 100 percent it is in green color and finally again whenever the animation is uh, duration is over again it comes to red color suppose if you want to change the background as well as a position also of an element so how can you change the animation background as well as a position so the thing is just uh, change in the at the rate of keyframes let's take again the example so in this example i'm going to explain the uh, not only the color the position of the uh, element is also changing for zero percent here you need to write background color background color so starting color is red color and here i am writing the position also because i want to change the element position so starting at red color the it is in left is zero pixels and top is zero pixels at 25 percent background color is let's take yellow uh, the left should be 200 pixels and the top is still 0 pixels. I will explain what is the, how it is changing. Next 50%. 50% background color should be blue color. Left is uh, this time at 50% 200 pixel. At the same time the top is also 200 pixel. 75%. The background color is green color. Left is 0 pixels. And the top is 200 pixels. Finally, 100%. Background color should be in, a, again, when it reaches to the final position, the object is in the same color. Red color, left is 0 pixels. And the top is 0 pixels. So, this is completely the animation code. So, whereas in the div tag, what you are going to be write, let me write here, so that... Uh, everything is in one page so the div is the element with this 100 pixels let's take 100 pixels and the height was 100 pixels and here you need to give the position because i'm going to change the position so if it is a static means the position won't change so that's why you have to give the position as relative relative and the background color starting it should be red color background color is red color and the animation name you have to be given compulsory animation name what name i have given here that is example example and animation duration animation duration is compulsory so up to 10 seconds close the div tag so then what will be the output here so this everything you are written in the style tag so first the background color is red let's take uh, this was a screen okay completely this was a screen let's take okay the background color is red at zero percent means this is uh, this is a browser window it starts it's the there's a red color left is zero pixels means here and the top is zero pixel Let's take the object 100% height, width and height means it is a square. So at 25%, the background color is changes to yellow. Left is 200 pixels, means this side it is 200 pixels. And the top is only 0 pixel, okay. It starts at the, this is a, you know, it starts at the 0 pixel. So left only changes. So now the object is moved to here okay so left is 200 pixels and the top is 0 pixel next at 50 percent the background color is blue color okay left is 200 pixels means left is 
200 pixels and the top is also 200 pixels 200 pixels now the object is here so left side is 200 pixels and the top side is 200 pixels so first the object is here next here next here and next at 75 percent left is 0 pixels okay this is 0 pixels and the top is 200 pixels so here the 200 pixels is there here and at 100 finally it reaches to here red color 0 pixels and 100